Get checked out online. A new service allows you to get doctor's advice via the net. It could also cut down on pricey doctor's bills, but is it safe? Here's the story. Now you can visit the doctor without having to leave your house. Dr. Tom.ie is the place to go. He's basically an online GP. The consultation fee is 30 euro if you require a prescription. You don't pay anything if you still have to physically visit a GP. Over 250,000 patients in the UK have already used his services. It's very clear to us that there are some patients who need to go and see their doctor and I'm a big fan of encouraging patients to go and see their doctor for complex problems. But actually the sort of problems that we are trying to solve, a lot of those problems can be quite simply and safely solved online. At the moment, the site only deals with specific areas of medicine, such as the contraceptive pill and asthma inhalers. The Irish Medical Organization is afraid people might abuse the service. So the reason that these medications are prescription only medications is because it's deemed by the Irish Medicines Board, who have responsibility for overseeing this, uh, that they require um, regular medical input. The IMO say for now a conventional doc might be best. They want the Irish Medicines Board to make sure the site is up to scratch before patients log on. Skype's iPad app went live on the App Store, then it was taken down, and now it's back up again. The app was launched sooner than expected, and it seemed Skype were just as surprised as everyone else because they removed it. Now it's back up on the App Store, and it has been launched for real. Skype says the new app is optimized for the iPad and offers the best of both worlds for users. Now you just have to tweet to fix your street. The government has launched a new website called fixyourstreet.ie, which lets residents make reports directly through the web. Things like potholes, graffiti and broken streetlights can be reported on the website or via Twitter. All you have to do is include hashtag FYSIE in your tweet. At the moment, the site is being trialled in South Dublin. If it goes well, it will be rolled out all over the country in a few months. The ultimate geek wedding. Have a look at this couple's big day that took place in front of a computer screen. Not only that, the couple were married by a virtual minister. The minister you see on the screen was created by the groom, who's a web developer. This isn't the first tech wedding we've seen, but it is the most advanced. Last year, a robot was used to marry a couple in Japan, but it was being controlled by a human. And that is you up to date with everything that's buzzing online today. Back over to you, Caroline. Thanks very much, Cassie.